The Desert Botanical Garden isn't just about plants. It has an amazing gallery and there's some great exhibits showcasing art and sculptures there. And with me to talk about it as director of ex exhibitions is uh, Laura, Bu uh, Laura Bass. I was gonna say Laura Bush, I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Laura Bass. Do you ever get that? Uh, no, usually I just get the best. Just the best? Yeah. Right, there it is, that, that is the best. <laughs> Simply the best. And that's, and that's so great about that is the best artwork and sculptures come right to the uh, Dan Desert Botanical Garden. And what's kind of neat is, is that it's a hidden gem of this gallery that's right there. And they just told me you're building another one, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's really exciting. The gardens become known for um, our exhibits, our, our art exhibitions that are usually garden-wide. Uh, the current exhibition is called Playing with Stars by the artist Ro Trout, Klein Moquet. She's known by the single name Ro Trout. And she's this amazing global artist who has been living in the valley for the past few decades. And she's our own hidden gem. Yeah. Um, to have someone of her level of importance in the art world that resides right here, um, we're extremely lucky to be showcasing her sculptures this yeah. season. And we're seeing some here on the screen right now, which are just amazing, um, which is really neat. But also this gallery uh, that we're talking about is amazing too. And, and it expands and also become smaller with the different exhibits going on there. Yeah, and so right. it's really nice. Where is it located in the uh, garden so people understand? In the garden, it's really easy to find. We make it, um, we make it easy with sign, signage throughout the garden. But um, if you follow our Desert Discovery Trail, the main garden trail, it leads you there past the Cactus and Succulent Galleries. And the gallery is called Audison Gallery. And in there right now, we're showcasing Ro Trout's paintings and small sculpture. And we share a lot about her artistic process so that you really understand and where these massive aluminum painted sculptures have come from. Yeah. The forms that she makes in her paintings, um, they lead directly to these sculptures that you see throughout the garden. That's beautiful. Can I ask you, how do you find these exhibits and, and sculptures and, and different things? Is it something that they come to you or do you go looking because you want to make sure it's right for the Desert Botanical Garden to go well with the plants, right? Right. It's, it's always that combination because at the garden, what we want to do is enrich your experience as a visitor. So, you know, I want you to be able to think about um, the place in nature and how the art is complementing that. So in, in this case, Ro Trout's works are really inspired by nature, by our place in the universe, by the energy of these things growing around it. So they're rising from garden beds just as cactus and succulents are side by side. And there is um, a flow and energy there that's really natural. I like it. Now, how far do the sculptures go? Do they go all the way? Because this is one thing I did not realize, and I've been here for so long, that that's a big garden. And the reason why <laughs> is we just get in there, we get to that little front part, maybe if we do the you know the uh, luminaries, we just get to a little part because it's, it's a very big area. And But when you start to venture through this, it's amazing. So are some of those uh, sculptures out further out away from the beginning of the uh, of the trails and stuff yeah absolutely so there's 13 sculptures on view right now wow. and you know it, it can be its own scavenger hunt uh, we have five main garden trails and they're spread throughout the garden um, in different situations and areas that complement the the bright bold playful sculptures that are her work um, and they they kind of um, sometimes tie in thematically so for example on our wildflower trail which houses our um, our butterfly exhibit we have this massive glittering pink magenta butterfly by the artist wow, and it's is, just a perfect location that is so amazing okay mm -hmm. so how long is this exhibit uh, at the garden uh, it's on view through Mother's Day May 14th okay. so the springtime is a great time to see it everything's going to be in bloom and really setting off these sculptures I love it and so are we still doing nighttime there right now yeah no? we're open so 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. so the sculptures really pop sometimes as the sun's going down huh oh absolutely they're beautiful to see at sunset and it's a whole other experience at night because all of them are finished with like an automotive finish uh -huh. their paint jobs are exquisite and some of them um, are sort of glittering and shiny so in the lights at night it's a very different experience wow. than the day that is awesome yeah. that's great okay let people know where they can find out more information about of course Desert Botanical Garden mm -hmm. and the exhibits going on there. Yeah, dbg.org. We've got a lot of great spring programming. There it is. Laura Bess, you are the best of bringing that to us. So, thank you. Thank you. So,